Uh, shout out to Michael. He writes, just two overweight males. <laughs> oh, God. Just two overweight males trying to justify why they can't get multiple wives, but trying to repurpose it I'm, as I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I, 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 I guarantee he smashed right. than you do. Let me just ain't nobody, ain't nobody over over here. Let me just finish reading it. But knowing nothing about the Funny. Bible, amazing. He writes, misspelled all purpose. Listen, um, you guys said nobody's overweight over there. Still come. Rico, Rico, what? keep it real with your boy, my nil. Rico, you're not overweight. And this is not to disrespect you, Rico. This is just real. Because no. if you look at our faces, like people are going to carry weight in their face, either A, based right. on their genetics, or B, based on overall overall fat tish, uh, fat content, right? Or percentage okay. of body fat, right? Rico, you don't think you're overweight. No. Come on, bro. Word. All right, second. bro. That's crazy. I mean, crazy. If, if we want to get into stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, no, I I'm, mean, no, we want to get into real. Trying, no, the thing is, no. you're trying to like disrespect. And, no, and, 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 no, no, no. Listen, you Jacob, you, you, you know said you've saying? watched me before. You said you've watched yeah, me before. And here's, here's something we all know about. Listen, here's something we all know about Marquette Devon Burton. If I want to disrespect somebody, I disrespect somebody straight up to their face. I'm really like that. And you in Inland Empire, you're not too far from Los Angeles. You, you're you around not people all. who know me. Listen, no, you're around people who know me in real life. You heard me? If I want to disrespect anybody, I disrespect them straight up. I don't have to beat around no. You hear me? Oh, and if it's, if it's an issue, it ain't got to be no box to go all the way up. Oh, so I don't, I don't need to dis listen. Hey, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Don't interrupt people. while I'm talking. If I want to disrespect you, I will be so vicious and disrespectful. You won't have to guess about it. I just asked him the facts and I'll tell you why, because the super chat said he's overweight and he said he's not overweight. I agree with the super chat. So I asked him to see if he's a real one. Cause when you're overweight, God damn it, you're gluttonous and you need to be real with yourself and fix it. I talk about 30 minutes of sweat every day. I truly believe in fitness. He's overweight. That's why I asked him that. Okay. Now, listen to me. I'm going to stop. I'm going to let you talk. I'm going to stop. I will let you talk. But I want you guys both to know if I wanted to disrespect either of you individually or both of you together, I wouldn't hesitate a second because she's a oh, to me. Yeah. He's an answer, answer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm an answer. He's you. An answer me. No, no, really. You you listen to me. Use yeah. an ant to me in person. Boy, don't play tough on here. Well, I can see you ain't like that. I see you ain't like that. I'll lay you out. Listen. Quickly, listen, dude, with the quick, I'm in St. City, Las you Vegas, little homie. You can in come see way, it, about me. I'm outside every day. Fighting, you not like I that, would homie. Love to see you play. I, I will eat your it. lunch, little homie. I will, I will you make not you, like that. I will make you cry, bro. You, you overweight. Home, and listen, here's the thing you you're from dude. Inland Empire, in we're from a similar era. Here's here's how I know you're straight. You don't get cute tattoos, you got all these cute tattoos. Where I'm from, you get tattoos of your hood of your dead homies. You got all these cute. Sweet, homie. You know what I'm saying? I'm you're sweet. Why, you're why sweet. are you mad? Why are you mad? Because I can sm you know you you're get smashed sweet. Out. And That's why you got I'm another third fruitcake in the background? Put the camera on that third fruitcake. How many people need oh, to good, debate man. me? I mean, hey, Vegas ain't far, How many people you know do you need to debate the big <laughs> homie? Ball in the Ooh. background. Come in, come in front. Like he ain't running nothing. He's about to tell your don't boyfriend worry, to come in the front. Why are you scared? Oh, yeah, he he talked, but he don't want to show his face. That's amazing. I'll, 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 dude, you have That's no idea amazing. what I'll do to you, man. You That's no amazing. Idea. Bro, you're a fat you. old man. Hate, you will get hurt. People talk. You're a fat I'll, old man with kids. You will you get out. hurt. You, you need to worry about your family, so Brody. You, you like, get I'll run by a broad. You, you, whatever you want. Set it you up. You get run by a broad. Set We're not the same, homie. We're not. Set it up. We're not the same. But check this out real quick. Fantastic. Gary, You're very tough. Fantastic. I'm telling you to set Who's it up. your little homie in the background? I'm, I'm, put, I'm putting you on. I just want to see right your now. little homie because he's running his mouth. Boxing, show your little homie. MMA or Jiu Jitsu, whatever you want. That's set cute, it up. man. But real quick, exactly. show your little homie in the background. You're all your fans, you can't even say yes or no because you're okay. scared. Great. Scared. I'm. I'm terrified of this little camera. fat. You're getting on camera, man. huh? Debating and twisting words around. Listen to me, Jacob. I I give you this. I'll tell you this. Give me what? Give me what? You ain't gonna give me back. That. I will be back in Las Vegas, Nevada. Great. And we gonna look. Look, I'm gonna put you. Look, I'm you pulling my calendar right now for you. Stop talking so they can hear. We're in the month of September. I will be back in Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will definitely you be can back. Come out to Inland Empire. At the very latest by October seventh. 
Okay. So what, I invite you, you. Don't interrupt. I invite you to Las I'm Vegas. I'm inviting Nevada. you to come to Inland Empire. Oh, you There's gyms scared, all yeah. day out here. There come out go. here. There we go. We'll go to there any one of these MMA gyms. Oh, you know, you're trying to invite me to go. your little, you know, you come out there here. We go. We're so tough. And I literally pull out my camera. Hey, to, I pull hey, out my calendar and you, all of a sudden you, you scared. That's come amazing. Come to me then. I'm scared of you. Let me ask you a question, Jacob. I'll put the little homies on your you're so tough. I'm inviting you to Las Vegas on October 7th. And I'm inviting you to come you out here spar any day right, right when you come right, back. We're done. We're done with that. We got we're four or five that. different gyms, whatever you want. We're done with come that. In, okay, so, so you turn you down want. the fade. That's good. Yeah, we are That's, done. You're scared. You turn down you're the fade. That's fine. It's all right. Tell your audience you're scared No, to fight here's me. the difference, bro. Right. I live in Las Vegas. It's world renowned. Hold on one second, Jacob. you want to fight me? Explain One second, Jacob. Say One second, Jacob. No, no, because you're going to talk stupid like you've been. You're a female. You redirect everything. I hear you. Just real quick. female constantly. I know you hear that's me. fantastic. You're hear me. You to Las Vegas, which is a great city. After you get beat up, you can go watch Empire a show. To come you to invite me to Inland Empire, bro. No you one are, goes to the Inland Empire. It's like the middle of nowhere. It's in the middle of nowhere, bro. It's not scared? even worth my time. Why are you scared? No, Answer the question. If you don't come out here, because you know if you don't want the fade, just say you don't want the fade. No, I want the fade. I want, dude, give me the fade. Why won't you come to Vegas? Give me the fade. Vegas is a tourist destination. Why won't you come to Vegas? Hey, how do you want it though? No, hold on, hold on. How do you want it? Why won't you come to Vegas? MMA or no, no, listen, explain. Name one, name one. I promise you, if you ever show up to Vegas, I will see me in person. I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna ask you, do you need that fade? And I'm gonna pack you. Bro, you have oh no reputation. God. You have no hey, background. I know this is all you for are your not audience, official, but because you're a little podcast. You are not dude. official. But this ain't this ain't it, man. This ain't it. You are it. not wrong official, one. buddy. I promise you, you're talking to the wrong Jacob. One, Jacob, player. you're a fat hey, dude. dude. Sure. One, I will do this. This dude is ridiculous. This dude is ridiculous. Like, who actually thinks this fat old man in a Hawaiian shirt is gonna see me? That boy is gonna be so polite in person. It's crazy. That boy is gonna be so damn polite. It's ridiculous. People really be trying to go viral out here. It's extraordinary. Now, here's a funny thing, too. It's like, bro, I live in Las Vegas. You live in Inland Empire, which means nowhere. I invite you to Las Vegas. You really want that fake? Come on, bro. Like, just pull up. We could get that in. And we don't need no boxing gloves. We don't need no MMA ring. Nah, none of that. We don't even need cameras. We shoot the fair one. We don't need to record it. We just shoot the fair one. And if you want to talk about it after, you could talk about it on YouTube. But nah, we just going to keep it G. You got no reputation. <clears throat> at all you let a broad run you here's one thing i could tell all of you guys if you ever grew up in a hood what you know is over here talking about oh i'm gonna be monogamous that's not it come on bro use a nut stop it we don't believe you you soft as hell carrying on bro soft really be trying to go viral out here they're gonna end up and getting hurt and this is the one that got him mad when he said bro is overweight then they just flipped out they didn't went crazy when he said they's overweight that's what got him mad if y'all rewind the tape, as soon as I just asked them, I was like, bro, are you overweight? Then they got mad. Damn. It's like women when they say, do I look fat in this dress? You're like, yes, you look fat in that dress. Then they get mad. It's like, you, come on, was, we can't live in the truth? It's a shame. Shout out to Minds Like Parachutes writes, what are there, or why are there two testaments? Instead of all this confusion, why isn't the second testament combined with the first? So it could all be one testament. Why was the second testament made? These are good questions. These are good questions. Shout out to the ballers. Shout out to St. White. He writes, Jacob, if being faithful to one woman is the right thing, why aren't you living by that belief? Because he's not disciplined. You know, he's not a real believer. He's a fake Christian. There's many of them. How can you be true to your faith if you're not following what you know is right? Exactly. And these are called beta males. You heard me? These are beta males. He's not following his Christianity. He's not following his male nature. He's a beta male. He's basically doing what he's allowed to do. And the female tells him, you better just have me because I'm a jealous woman and I control you. So even though you want other women, don't do it or I'll leave you, you fat, ugly guy in a Hawaiian shirt. I'll leave you. Uh, like, I'm not about to see his head on. I'm not, that's, why, that's why I stay quiet. I'm not about to see his head I'm literally kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> $5,000. Now, here's the funny thing. Number one, I was trying to put him back on so you could see him get up and have that big fat stomach. That's why they got mad when we said they're overweight. Number two, he said, I'll have somebody kidnap you for $5,000. Like, where? That's the going rate? That sounds a bit cheap. That'd be amazing, though. Uh, and number three is like, bro, like, your name is Rico Savage, according to you. Like, it's like, 
Nobody ever called you a savage except you calling yourself a savage. I asked you off rip. I said, are you a savage? You're like, well, I had a, I had a clothing company and the clothing company was called savage. So now I'm just savage, but you can be savage in many ways. You can be savage in a good way or a bad way. It's like, bro, come on, man. You sweet as hell. You sweet as hell. It's all good. Man. <laughs> you know, I'm a savage in good ways. Like, bro, come on, man. I asked you, are you a savage? Because hey, check up. Check up. generally in the neighborhood, you'll have a nickname, a hood name, your alias, based on you putting in work. So I just want to see, like, oh, are you about that? That's why they call you savage, because you put in work? Yeah, it's like, come on, bro. You're ridiculous. These are amazing. These are Christian gangsters out here. Uh, Christian gangsters. I've seen it all. And here's the other thing. They have some other little effeminate nerd in the background. And I said, put the camera okay, on. He wants to talk talking. again. You can talk. On. You put the camera on him. Like, where, where'd the effeminate guy go? Put the camera on him. The what? That's strange. Like, grown men talking. They don't want to come on camera. Like, why are they I'm talking on camera? In the background? What are you talking about? Why are they talking in the background? I I heard somebody say I was going to get kidnapped for five G's. That's hilarious. <laughs> I want to see that. I would love yeah, to see that. You're supposed to hear that, though. I would love to see Dude, that. if you know the Inland Empire, you know we're not the ones, man. I, Bro, I, I know you got to know. We grew up in this. It's what we do. Listen, I probably slay more like, broadly. Like, you know, when it comes to that part, stick to your podcast, player. You don't oh, want to fuck with it, man. I'm, I'm being listen, you got these cute you. tattoos. I know you're sweet, oh Brody. God, I know you're sweet. Dude. These real ones don't get cute tattoos. I really tattoos. don't want to hurt you. You're super stop. sweet. You're stop. super sweet. Stop. Show us them cute dude. ass tattoos. Because you're, show you're, you're like a tattoos. little baby to me, man. Real I, quick, I will show me them cute tattoos. Send you crying, dude. Bro, I will break them glasses you on your face. Be blind for life. And I like you a lot more. I swear to God, I like you. Don't make me not like you. Just real quick, can we see? Can we get a tour of your tattoos? I know this is. Just give us a tour of your tattoos, real quick. Give us a tour. But just give me a tour of your tattoos. Explain to you is I like you. Don't make me dislike. Give me a tour of your tattoos, real quick. Just show us the tattoos, real quick, please. That's all I'm asking. Explain to you. All I'm asking is just for. Just show some of your tattoos. You're like a female. Show us some of your tattoos. Player, like what? Like all I'm asking you is just to show us some of your tattoos. Why are you ashamed to show us these cute tattoos? Nowadays, man, they turn into females. Like, why can't we see your tattoos? That's some shit, man. All right, let me ask you another thing. Are you overweight? I'm overweight. Yeah. Thank you. I is am. Rico overweight? Yeah, he is. We were both overweight. Okay. It is what it is. You know I, thank what you. Saying? I appreciate but that. I'm, I'm not no, gonna lie. What I'm trying to say. Go ahead. Go ahead. Why did Rico? To, don't try to cook me right now because no, I'm not. Talk, I'm not. Talk to me like okay, a man. Not. You that's said yes, and that's 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 that, right? All right. Why, when I asked Rico if he's overweight, why did he say know, no, I'm he's not Rico? Overweight? I'm not Rico, but, okay. but what I'm saying so you would is, agree yeah. that he lied. Well, I'm not going to go back and forth with him on that. I'm saying for okay, me fine. myself, okay, cool. I, I'm back now, in MMA, I've been training again hard. Fantastic. I train now, most of my thing. life, I'm back in, I'm going to get back to where I need to be. Okay, cool. Now, here's the thing when I asked him, so first off, I didn't just out of nowhere say, Bro, you're overweight. I didn't say you're you're well, fat out of nowhere. Right just have a, a normal male conversation. No, listen, man. just listen. I'm listening. I did not say out of nowhere, you're fat, you're overweight. A super chatter said, you're both overweight. And then I asked him to figure out his self-perception to I'm see if fat. he's delusional, see if he's on the planet Earth. I said, are you overweight? And then he said, no, which we both know, all three of us know is a lie. And from then, you both got sensitive. That's I where it started. Sensitive. Yeah, no, I that's where it started. Hey, disrespect. You were cussing. You were already going. No, 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 no. Oh, you were no, cussing. No, no. You were already you, going, doing your thing. No, when real you're quick. The one you that tell me, no what did I say? You know what no, I mean? What like, happened, you did I say that was disrespectful? I, dude, I don't know. I'm not going to go over the whole thing. You started no, no, you should know. Because you just popped off something. No, no, you should know. Tell me what I said that was disrespectful. Marquette. The thing is, I like you, man. I no, do. Don't I do really all that. Like don't do all that cute stuff. I'm asking you, what did I no, say I that was disrespectful? Shit, okay. I'm a What I'm did a real, I say I'm that was disrespectful? One. I'm a man, dude. Like, like, real like, quick. You, you just in front of a man, stop. I do different stop with shit. the bull. Just tell me, no, what did I say was bull. disrespectful? No, no. You're still trying to play that woman. You tell what me was disrespectful? what's disrespectful. Like, you're just like a fucking female. Here's the thing. That's what I'm talking about. You're just scared. You're just scared because you lied. I'm afraid of. You lied. Tell me what I'm afraid of. You lied. You lied. I don't lie, man. You did lie. How am I lying? Because I asked you. You said I was disrespectful. You, Tell you're, me what I said. You're the that one was that started cussing at us first, and you and you specifically said no cussing. You started cussing at us, going all off. I'm like, at the point in like which that, I man. asked him, I just want to clarify so we can understand you. You're saying at the point in which I asked him, "Are you overweight?" That's when I was cussing. I was you cursing then. Before that, 
Oh, you're, you're saying started. I was cursing at no, we're gonna play it back. We're gonna play it back real quick. You said I was cursing at Rico before yeah. I asked him if he was overweight. Is that correct? Some female talk, dude. Just keep going. No, make your point. Make your point. I know you no. want to make your point. Stop running, like you lying woman, piece of you have a point it, to listen, make. Homie, listen, homie, listen, I'm a dude. Like, are you kidding me? So have just you, know, I don't really think you ask me for that fade. You post That's up, all I gotta you say. You hit me. Just ask me for that fade. That's all there is to that. You dig? Just ask for that fade when you see me. And here's a crazy thing. Like, you're going to see me. Everybody comes to Vegas. Everybody comes to Vegas. If you want to see me, you'll see me. Nobody goes to Inland Empire. That's like somebody being on my live stream. Like, when you come to Kentucky, we going to fight. Like, bro, I'm never coming to Kentucky. Like, of all the beautiful places, like, I'm never going to show up in your random town in Kentucky, Brody, but come to Vegas. It's like a $50 flight. True story. It's a $50 flight. And if he comes and he win the fade, I'll reimburse him for the flight. You dig? But if he take the L, you got to take the financial losses with it. Come on, Brody. Stop it. You don't want smoke with me. We not the same. And that's why I said, see, he tried to talk tough. Like, I'm from Inland Empire. Like, bro, like, I've been through IE, like you're weak out there. That's that's not, IE is not nothing to me, okay? And here's the thing. If you really was a hitter in IE, when I said, show me your tattoos, you would have had your hood tatted. You would have had the dead homies tatted. That's why I don't have tattoos because I wasn't a gang member. That's why I don't have no, no tattoos. And the thing is, you're trying to act like you're like that. You're not like that. You're a schoolboy, boy. You're a schoolboy, okay? So you got these so I have a phoenix right here. It represents me rising in life. It's a phoenix. If I would have showed up with like some weird, Tattoos, niggas like, bro, like, what is that? I got Westside Denver Lane tattoo right here, but what, what's that? Yeah, I got the dead homies tattoo right here. It say Cedar Block right here. I got it whacked out. Like, but what's that? Like, what's that? Yeah, come on, bro. Use a nut. Nobody who's like that gets cute tattoos. Stop playing games. Stop playing games. It's amazing. How you come on and get your religion destroyed? I just, I just use your religion as toilet paper. You got your religion destroyed. You got your logic destroyed. And you're going to get knocked out when I see you. And don't snitch. These, these are the kind of guys that are rats. You hear me? These are straight rats. These are family men trying to talk crazy to me. Like, come on, bro. Stop it. You're a family man. Behave yourself. <laughs> that is nonsense. Imagine you came on for a debate, got bodied in the debate, and you're going to get beat up. That's terrible. Imagine you're a fat old man in a Hawaiian shirt acting like you really want smoke with real savages. Come on, bro. Like your homie said his name was Rico Savage. I was like, are, are you a savage? No, man, I'm not a savage. You could be a good savage. I'm a good savage. I'm a Christian savage. And here's the thing. It's like the moment that he said, don't disrespect people. I was like, I'm not disrespecting you, which is you know, clearly in my view, I don't even feel like I'm disrespecting you, but you're an ant to me. If I wanted to disrespect you, I disrespect you. You heard me? If I want to spit in your face, I spit in your face. Like, who are you to me? You're nothing to me. You're really, you're nothing to me. I could tell. Like, I could tell if we went to school together, you'd be like that little weird dude over to the side. Like, if you ever spoke up on my name, like somebody would beat you up for me. You're not even formidable. Like, they probably would just come back and report that they socked you out on my behalf just to get kudos. Like, bro, we're not the same out here. Use a nerd, man. Use a real nerd. Stop it out here. Look at this stuff. Like, like these balls is outrageous. Like, how do you think you could match up with me looking like this? This is the guy that said he'd throw hands with me. Hold up. This guy. Look at this guy right here. Said he will throw hands with the big homie. That's extraordinary. And then have the nerve to say, yeah, I'm overweight. Like, bro, you got all these people on your platform. Like, you need a whole team to hold you down. Like, you need 30 other people that are more interesting and important than you to establish a presence. Bro, I'm a strong man like Conan, man. I don't need nobody, man. It's the big homie. It's a one-man army, bro. You're not like me. Use a sidekick, man. Use like Robin. I'm Batman. Come on. It's, it's different out here, bro. <laughs> That's outrageous. Look at this fat rascal right here. I, where are the pictures at? This dude got all these uh, videos. Where's the pictures? Where's the pictures at? These little fat rascals right here. Come on, man. Look at this ball right here. He know damn well he couldn't see me with them hands. That's insane. Now, here's the thing. How are you going to say that you're Christian men or that you're even honorable men when you're sitting there lying? I asked, bro, are you overweight? He said he's not overweight. That's what women do. They lie and they're delusional. 
Then you get mad because I asked you if you're fat based on the super chat saying you're fat. I just want to see if you were deluded and you are. And that's why you can't trust these beta males. This is all this is beta males, weak males. Um, let's see. We got Austin. He came back. He writes Second uh, Peter uh, 221. For it would be better for them to never have known the way of righteousness than after knowing it to turn back from the holy commandment delivered to them. That's wild, isn't it? If the Bible says that sleeping with multiple women is bad, then why does he do it? No principles. Shout out to Austin. He writes, does Jacob pay for box? Bro, we already know he pay for box. That's a guarantee. Bro was sitting up here lying his butt off talking about, I have friends and all of my friends are really successful and all of their girlfriends are really beautiful. They're dimes and they don't cheat at all. And these men don't want to be with them. They just keep multiple gorgeous, submissive women around for no reason. Like, bro, stop it. Ain't nobody getting fooled by this bull you talking. Shout out to Shahid supporting the word came in by a... Uh, just became a member at thesassin.com. That's T-H-E-S-A-S-N.com. Shout out to Ray. He writes, bro is wild. From humans to animals to sales plants, a seed is planted in multiple partners, including himself and the Bible he uses as his defense. Just admit you were trying to get browning points with a drunk babbling baddie when you made the comment, huh? Down to the atoms, things are made to spread seed, influence, what have you. Exactly. May I acknowledge Sean supporting the work just became a member actually at the assassin.com. That's T H E S A S N.com. We welcome you to this thing of ours. May I also acknowledge Dominic. He writes, why is a Christian man talking about promiscuous women? Where are the good women? How about that part? Saints only want to deal with lady saints long term. You ain't never lied. Scott comes in by PayPal. He writes, tuition in a room full of Christians. It seems like you're the only one doing God's work. Keep cooking, Saint. Sir, yes, sir. Ain't that crazy? Man, these Christians be scamming like a mug. Matter of fact, I kid you not, earlier today, a Christian tried to scam me out of $30,000. That's why I started late because I was on the phone. Like, just like, bro, like, what is this contract you sent me? This is not what we discussed. Uh, shout out to Carter. Came in via Venmo. He writes, the same way the gentleman says his friends uh, dealing with multiple women are miserable, Turn around and say all the men you know who are in monogamous marriages are miserable. That's a fact. And even more so when the marriage fails. How about that part? He further writes on demo. It appears that Jacob now has a battery in his back. Now that his buddy is here. Y'all notice how he all of a sudden started turning up when he had some butt buddies around. He felt lit all of a sudden. He grabbing the mic from his mans. That's amazing. I want to show you guys a video clip, actually. I want you guys to see what a beta male looks like and when your own friends view you as a beta male. Let me give you guys a study in communications and if people actually respect you. Listen listen to what happens while he starts talking. He's in his own office because he said he put the studio in his own office that he owns. Those people on that podcast are his employees. Watch how they treat him. And if your woman ever does this to you, if your friends do this to you, they cut you off while you're talking, it shows you that, that they don't respect you. They think you're a broad. Watch this. Because I don't, I don't like to manipulate the mind, right? In a sense where I'm gonna say, okay. But it goes no, back but, to but let me let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. So you're telling me your own female assistant that works for you is interrupting you and talking over you? Man, I wish a bra would. You heard me? So a bra interrupts him. Now let's carry on. Let's see how weak he is and how little position he has in his own office with his own employees interrupting him. So then you guys can jump in. So, so biblically, even biblically, we are actually not meant to be uh, uh, with the with multiple people. It is. Hold on, let me finish. Uh oh, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. There he goes again, getting interrupted again by his own employees. They're not even on camera, and they're interrupting him. And it's ironic because he just cut off the broad and said, "Don't interrupt me. Let me finish." Then another dude starts interrupting him. It's a clear indication. You're a beta male. Men don't respect you. Women don't respect you. They cut you off when you're speaking. You're a peon. And they know you're a peon subconsciously, but they don't tell you. That's why you haven't gotten mad and fired him yet. But you're going to get mad at him today after watching this. You peon. I wish people would be my employees. I'm talking into a camera. I already told one person not to interrupt me. She should have already known that. Then you interrupt me after that. It's a clear show. You're the beta male in the room. You're the weakling in the room. Even though you got the money, you still don't have the power. You're weak, Brody. 
And that's why these beta males always try to arrange the world so they can survive. That's all they're trying to do. The beta males are trying to survive. Why? Because the big boss dog, the reason they hate polygyny, they don't want me to have three of them girls because they're going to end up with zero. Huh? Too many of us got three or four. They end up with zero. That's how the beta males operate. But wise women don't want to be with a weak man because this boy over here talking crazy. I change his whole life in real life. I change his whole life. Imagine he brought up the fade. I ain't bring up a fade because it's ludicrous. Y'all both look like fat old men. It's ludicrous. I'll be bullying you. I ain't bring up a fade. He brought up a fade. I said, come through the same city. You heard me? He ain't want to come through. It's the fight capital of the world. And there's also great tourism. You heard me? I'll beat you up, give you a two piece. Then you could go to a fine restaurant and get a two piece. It's a great place. But he ain't want to come. Talking about come to the Inland Empire. Brody, why would I go to a backwater? It's There's no logic there. Come on, man. Just say you're scared. Say you're scared. Anyways, back to him getting cut off by his own employees in his own office. That's let you guys, let me finish. Let me finish. No, let me finish. Hold it says man, finish. one man, one woman. Ooh, hold on. One man, one Then you hear another person in the background cutting him off. That's crazy. Woman. That's what it's supposed to be. One man, one woman. It's in the Bible. It's talked about like that. And I believe that. I, believe I truly do because I feel like I know you're doing wrong if you're being with multiple women. Period. Like, like I'm not a fool. Like, I know what I was doing. Bro is cute. He got a grenade tattooed on his hand. That's so cute. That's amazing. What I'm doing is wrong. I'm not going to sit there and convince myself. Bro is a fat rascal sitting in a video game chair just filling it up like a walrus. Like I'm so fool trying to convince myself that, hey, what I'm doing is... Oh, and by the way, Brody is a fan. Like in case you guys didn't know, like shout out to my fans. You heard me? Bro is an actual fan. Before we went live, he's like, yeah, man, I've been watching your stuff for like two years. You're great. You're great, man. And if you look at his, his uh, YouTube website, you sh I'm your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber. All of them. What do they do? They bootleg what I say. Health, wealth, relationships. Health, wealth, relationships. I'm a fan. I've been watching you for two years. Then you look at his, his explanation. What is he saying? Everything I say. Leadership, right? Health, wealth, relationships. All in different words. Come on, bro. We see it a million uh, miles away, man. Stop trying to steal from your boy. Be original. Not wrong. I'm going to keep doing it. No, I'm going to at least acknowledge that what I'm doing is wrong. But I'm just gonna keep doing it. But I'm not gonna, I don't wanna, I don't want I feel like that's very scary to try to manipulate your own mind to believe that you sh that it's okay to be with all these women. When women are nobody even wants to listen, listen, bro. That's crazy. Like he got cut off 30 times by his own employees. And he's over here trying to argue like virtually while I'm absent, argue with me. His like I'm God to him. You hear me? He following my footsteps. You dig? He didn't bootlegged all the ism and put it on his YouTube page. Like, yeah, man, I teach leadership. You don't teach leadership. You follow leadership. Quit lying, you fat rascal. Who wants to learn from an overweight man? Come on, Brody, stop it, please. 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 Lady. Right, I'm truly disappointed. Male perversion is the real problem, end quote. Said by the man contradicting himself, arguing nonsense. All the best to all three of you gentlemen. <laughs> she has no photo. Shout out to Nicaragua. <laughs> he writes, these two went from Christians to gangsters. Wow, bro. Indeed, they did. Shout out to Leonard, support guy. I appreciate it. Man, I also acknowledge Tyree. Shout out to Nicaragua. Writes, this man, this dude has man boobs trying to be tough. That's what killed me when, when I was like, Rico, are you fat? And bro, like, clearly has a little bit of, like, what's that jiggling? What's that jiggling? Bro clearly got a booty on his chest talking about, no, I'm not overweight. Like, bro, you are in womanly denial. That's crazy. You're a delusional grown man on TV where everyone can see you. Stop it. Uh, none of the above writes, I call it weak. <laughs> Shout out to Michael. He writes, why was there 20 fat dudes in their studio, bro? And the thing that get me mad, you got all these nerds in the background. They eating corn nuts. You hear me? They eating corn nuts and cheese buffs in the background. Like, just talking crazy. He's bald head. His head look like a milk dud. Matter of fact, I'm hungry. Y'all got some milk duds? You got three fat guys in the background. I'm like, yo, put them on camera. They want to talk reckless. Put them on camera. They don't want to come on camera. They scared. <laughs> it's amazing. Shout out to Robert. He writes, goofballs. Indeed. Shout out to Eric. He writes, neither of these gentlemen read the Bible. Clearly. Bro over here talking about just pray for understanding. Okay, buddy. They're like, okay, you've clearly not learned from history. They are not qualified to represent or even talk about the good word. They're not even self-aware enough to realize they're getting cooked. Peace and sex, bro. It was wild. Shout out to Michael. He writes, Jacob, you have two kids. Don't get froggy. Think about your family. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's like, really? Think about your family. Anyway, shout out to uh, Brandon. He writes, uh, Marquette built like King David while Jacob is built like Peter Griffin. 
We all know the fade, how to fade, bro. The fade would be so brief. That'd be the most brief fade on earth. Bro would be, whoo, he'd get tipped out. Imagine being fat and thinking you're not fat. Appreciate you, Mitch. Imagine being a fat male and thinking you're not fat. Why? That sounds familiar. That sounds familiar. Isn't that how women are? They be fat, broke, <laughs> unattractive, ratchet, promiscuous, but they all think that they're the prize. You hear me? It's extraordinary. He writes, only MMA he knows is muffins, McDonald's, <laughs> all you can eat buffets. <laughs> Listen, man, it is wild. And see, it get like that. You know, people be fat. It, it get like that. But the worst thing about it is like, come on, man. Don't, don't be in denial like that. That's the part that messed me up. Don't be in denial. You know damn well you fat. Don't sit here lying to people when they could see you. Bro thought we, he thought he was hollow man. What's going on? Extraordinary. And here's the thing. I roasted the first dude so bad. They had to bring on the second dude, but I didn't even get to go through my notes. I didn't even get to go through my notes. That's how easy he got by. And you guys should be at home asking yourself, like, how is it that Marquette is not a, you never heard Marquette come on like, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. Jesus Christ, savior. You never hear me say that. You always hear me say I'm all of the religions rolled into one. So you're a Christian. That's all you need to master. How do I come on with more scripture than you? And then he over here talking about, I didn't know we had to debate about the Bible. Dummy, you literally said polygyny is wrong based on the Bible. These people have such low IQ and low integrity. It's, it's really strange. It's so bizarre that they think that they should be the leaders of men. So bizarre. Bro need to be banned from podcasting. I never seen anybody look so dumb within an hour of their life. That first hour, that ball looked extraordinarily dumb. You know, damn well you don't want no issues with me. Bro over here, steaming mad, steaming mad. Two little fat rascals. They probably had to end the stream because they uh, Uber Eats arrived. <laughs> they Uber Eats in the stream and the food is here. <laughs> we got to eat it while it's hot. These fat 